Well, the economy simply on fire. In fact, it's the biggest story, and it's something that I have been saying on this show for a very long time, and it's all about consumer confidence that's powering this economic resurgence. Earlier today, Larry Cutlow, he zeroed in on that confidence, and he explained it. Let's take a listen. Confidence, confidence numbers, large businesses, small businesses, and consumer confidence numbers are at or near record highs and from the latest surveys are continuing to rise. Now, the latest example today, Walmart, uh, just amazing. It's a reflection of the booming economy, a reflection of the growing consumer confidence to go out there and spend your hard-earned money. The company released its earnings, and they soared well above Wall Street's expectations, the strongest growth in more than a decade. The report showed that consumers are heading back to brick-and-mortar locations. They're staying there longer. They're spending more money. Let's talk about it now with Tammy Bruce, Independent Women's Voice of President, Lindsey Bell, CFRA Research Investment Strategist, and Rachel Campos Duffy, Fox News contributor. Rachel, it's a pleasure to have you. We'll start Thank with you. you. Uh, you know, I, when I'm listening to Larry Cutlow, I was like, yes, yes, yes. These are the things that I've been talking about for a long time. And by the way, the evidence began immediately. Right after President Trump was elected, almost every consumer sentiment survey out there, the ones that really have been around for a long right. time, that, that really zero in on this thing, from NFIB small business to consumer confidence, whether it was a Michigan or a conference board, exploded. Now we're seeing the manifestation of that, I think. Right, that it's durable. You have been saying it for a long time. I've been living it. I live in middle America. I live in rural Wisconsin, um, places where the Obama economy really wasn't good for them. They were really, they really were forgotten. Um, when Walmart is doing this well, you know middle America is doing better. Confidence is going up. Um, Walmart, by the way, uh, making good on its, on its effort to compete with Amazon on groceries. Half of their um, revenue is from groceries. Now they're going to deliver um, or at least do pickup, which in cold Wisconsin, that's like music to my ears. Mm -hmm. I can send my teenager to go pick up my groceries. It's not there yet. It's coming. Right. And they're also competing on retail, which, by the way, also works in rural America because I would much rather go and return my item at the store um, than have to deal with all the packaging. Right, but the, the fact of the matter is that even yesterday we had retail uh, sales report out. The two things that stood out were restaurants, which had the strongest yes. uh, month over month and strongest year over year gains, mm -hmm. and department stores. That's Tammy, great. people are going to the mall. And mm -hmm. what's interesting, you know, and Walmart's just an example of that, mm -hmm. but Walmart actually saw a little bit of a slowdown. Uh, because food stamps went down. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, be, since 150 million Americans shop there every month, mm -hmm. a decline of food stamp actually used earlier in the year kind of mm -hmm. slowed them down. Mm -hmm. We're showing now the positive signs of capitalism That's that right. it matters more, not food stamps, but when people make more, earn more, and keep more. That's right. And it, when you had uh, so many years of people on food stamps, that's what they got used to. That's what they relied on. And suddenly that's gone. And it took a little bit to say, well, wait a minute, what is going to happen? So you're going to be hesitant. You're going to be a little bit, of ca you're going to be cautious. But then, of course, the, the tax cuts, the consistency of the president's rhetoric matching the results. Suddenly it was a realization and it takes just one minute of, oh, there, that was not the new normal. This can change. This has happened. And now I can live my life in this fashion. Now, what the president's uh, issue is and his administration's issue is, is to make sure the American people know that this isn't na like just automatic because there's leprechauns who make this happen because America <laughs> is great and will always be great, that it is policy that has done this. It is a combination of his attitude, the president's attitude, his promises, his understanding right. and his history, the application of dealing with things like regulations, the tax cuts, but the trust then that is created between the consumer, the American people, and the president that makes them confident to act on what he's done. Right. That's and the, it's, per, it's, it's happened. It's perfect. That's the wild card, Lindsay. It's, you know, to be able to say, okay, I believe enough that I will start to use my credit card more, that I will start to buy things more, that I will splurge more because I do have the confidence that it's going to continue, that I won't lose my job, that I probably will get a raise. And you know what's interesting to me from a Wall Street perspective, the Federal Reserve created three and a half trillion dollars out of thin air. They were trying to create what they call the wealth effect, the virtuous cycle. It never worked for Main Street. I think we're in the midst of a virtuous cycle now. Uh, I think you're absolutely right. Just look at Walmart. They are spending more at those stores, and they're, they're also trading up. They're trading up to national brands. They're buying the more expensive product, and it's because their personal income is up. They've got more money in their pocket. And like you mentioned, the consumer is feeling confident. 
wages are going up. I'd like to see them go up a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. But all is good, and the consumer's feeling really good, and they are the key to our economy. You know, it, it's so funny because uh, we do have confidence polls from, from, from institutions that normally don't do that kind of thing. It's out of really their wheelhouse. And, and they always show, well, it, you know, people just, they don't reflect what I see in, in, in the markets, what I see from corporate America, Rachel. And, 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 you, and you wonder about that sometimes because, you know, they, these things can be skewed, of course. But it's hard to, it's hard to deny what we're seeing on the ground itself. That's right. And, you know, I, I'm not just a, a mom with kids, but I'm also a political spouse. Um, and so I have my uh, pulse on what is going on in my community in, Wisconsin, in northwestern Wisconsin. I'm telling you, people are going out to eat. I, we vacationed in northern Wisconsin. Cars, fishing boats, you know, the Great. tackle shops are going. It's not just Walmart. It's the small businesses. People are going out to eat. Um, there is a real boom, a real confidence, and a real, uh, and Tammy, you're right, people at least in middle America, are definitely giving Donald Trump credit. I don't care what the rest of the country is saying. They can, they, they can try and spin this Obama did it, or I've actually heard a Democrat politician in Wisconsin um, say it's because they passed the stimulus bill nine years ago. No, it's the <laughs> Trump economy.